Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Open up Resources Illustrative Mathematics, Unit 3, Lesson 7, Exploring the Area of a Circle. Problem number one. The x-axis of each graph has the diameter of a circle in meters. Label the y-axis on each graph with the appropriate measurement of a circle, radius in meters, circumference in meters, or area in meters squared. The first graph shows the relationship between the diameter and area of a circle. It's not a proportional relationship. The second graph shows the relationship between the diameter and the radius. It is a proportional relationship and the constant of proportionality is one half. The third graph shows the relationship between the diameter and the circumference. It is a proportional relationship and the constant of proportionality is pi. Problem number two, A. Here is a picture of two squares and a circle. Use the picture to explain why the area of this circle is more than two square units, but less than four square units. The area of the bigger outside square is two units by two units, which is four units squared. So we know the area of the circle has to be less than four units squared. Now let's look at the area of the smaller square inside the circle. This smaller square is made up of four small triangles. Each of those four small triangles are one half of a square unit. So four halves actually equals two. So this smaller square has an area of two square units. That means that the area of the circle is larger than two square units, but smaller than four square units. B. Here is another picture of two squares and a circle. Use the picture to explain why the area of this circle is more than 18 square units and less than 36 square units. Let's start with the larger square. Six units by six units. Six times six is 36, so the area of the larger square is 36 square units. Since the circle is smaller than the larger square, the circle is going to have an area that's less than 36 square units. Just like in diagram A, the area of the smaller square inside the circle is half the area of the larger square outside the circle. The area of the smaller square inside the circle is 18 square units. Since the circle is larger than the smaller square that's inside the circle, the area of the circle must be greater than 18 square units. Problem number three. Circle A has area 500 inches squared. The diameter of circle B is three times the diameter of circle A. Estimate the area of circle B. The area of circle A equals the radius squared times pi. So we know that the radius squared times pi equals 500 inches squared because they told us that circle A has an area of 500 inches squared. If circle B's diameter is three times greater than circle A's diameter, then that means circle B's radius is also three times greater than circle A's radius. That means that the area of circle B is going to be three to the second power times greater than the area of circle A. Three to the power of two equals nine. So the area is going to be nine times greater than 500 inches squared. Nine times 500 inches squared is 4,500 inches squared. So the area of circle B will be about 4,500 inches squared. Problem number four. From 7th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 5. Lynn's bike travels 100 meters when her wheels rotate 55 times. What is the circumference of her wheels? 100 meters divided by 55 rotations equals approximately 1.82 meters. So the circumference of her wheels is approximately 1.82 meters. Problem number five. 
from 7th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 3. Find the circumference of this circle. The diameter is 15 centimeters, and 15 centimeters times pi will give us the circumference. 15 centimeters times pi is approximately 47 centimeters. The circumference of this circle is about 47 centimeters. Problem number six from seventh grade, unit three, lesson three. Priya drew a circle whose circumference is 25 centimeters. Claire drew a circle whose diameter is three times the diameter of Priya's circle. What is the circumference of Claire's circle? We know that Priya's circle has a circumference that's equal to the diameter times pi. They told us that the circumference is 25 centimeters, so we can rewrite this as 25 centimeters equals the diameter times pi. Let's figure out what the diameter is. We can divide both sides by pi. On the right hand side, we have d times pi divided by pi. That equals d. And 25 divided by pi equals 7.96. The diameter is 7.96 centimeters and the diameter of Claire's circle is three times that. So we need to multiply three times 7.96. That's 23.88. Now we need to find the circumference of Claire's circle. The circumference will be the diameter times pi. 23.88 times pi. That equals approximately 75 centimeters. Take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.